I think based on the size of the folks looking to make these ETFs and their user base, um, I think it could be quite significant for our industry as a whole. Um, I think it'll show very clearly that TradFi is a very big player in the blockchain space and in the DeFi space. My view has always been that TradFi and the traditional capital markets are actually the biggest net buyer, the biggest net customer of things like Bitcoin. That will begin to take shape more and more through things like the Bitcoin ETF. I think, though, it'll go very far beyond that because uh, fundamentally, this technology is about creating better transactions, more transparent transactions, less risky transactions, more high quality relationships between counterparties, which is fundamentally what the entire banking, capital markets and asset management sectors are really about. And so I think the Bitcoin ETF is an efficient initial step where the bigger players in the capital markets allow folks to access cryptocurrencies. But I think they will then go on to make more and more advanced financial products of their own and eventually even define their own uh, decentralized finance protocols that interact with the decentralized finance protocols on public chains. Yes. And this is where our infrastructure comes in to create that connectivity and interaction both among Web3 protocols, among capital markets protocols, and yes. very importantly, between Web3 and capital markets.